another quick video of the 3DLS running. Still working out the speeds and speeds. I uh, messed with the uh, closed loop controls a little bit more. I think they're working good now. They seem to be much more stable. The displays aren't freaking out like they were. See when it gives a big number in the air, that's when it's retrying steps. It's actually retrying a lot of steps because I've got the same printing at 120 millimeters per second. And uh, if we look at the surfaces here down the sides, the long runs and stuff, you'll see that everything is really nice and straight. These closed loop controls are super fast at auto correcting. This is the back for the uh, ruggedized tablet. There's a power button in the thing there. A little bit of error on that display still. It's not updating the rest of the display. These OLED displays just seem to be kind of crap, but whatever. A little coupler. Fucking around there. Our stomach screwed the fan back down. I should probably do that at some point. SKR 1.4 turbo in this case. I still gotta do something with these ugly wires. Been too busy printing. Got some stuff I want to get done. And what better way to get it done than with this printer? It's got like two hours to go. I put little filters on the fans because the dog hair just gets in them. So I can put them on all of them. This one doesn't have one, but it does have a piece of filter cloth on the bottom. That's actually hot air out the top. It pulls air up through the bottom. It's on feet to give it a little gap. That power supply doesn't even get warm. And this thing at the most draws about 12 and a half amps. And that big old industrial power supply just does not seem to care at all. This is alright. Ooh. Fans not spinning in there. Like the very first LED would be on. There's. Uh, it only turns on when the pie hits 50C. Yeah, I guess in a couple of hours we'll see how this fits. Be putting that together. It's already on Thingverse, but it's a uh, work in progress still. Because it's still printing. Cool.